Hi, I'm Odette Bennis, and welcome back to Hit It or Miss It, where all things pop culture are covered. This week, we take a look into the social and cultural implication of drag culture. Originating in 1920 Europe, drag performance has evolved over time in both their popularity and social acceptance, with shows such as RuPaul's Drag Race. While drag culture is a way of individuals to express their pride and confidence, it can also be a target of prejudice and ridicule. Robert Crowley is a local full-time drag queen, and we have the pleasure to meet with him to discuss the influence of the drag community in American media and within the makeup industry, as well as learning the process of getting into drag. Drag is basically, like, there's a couple of different ways you can view it, but it's mostly, like, the idea of you look through Shakespeare, it's, like, dressed as a girl. It's, like, a female illusion. So drag right now mostly is, like, it's performing artistry, it's, it's being in crazy costumes, and like, it's basically like Halloween every day. Drag was very big, you know, with the gay scene developing. It's a little bit of drag queens inspiring others, but also like Madonna would do a certain crease that looked a lot like Pearl, Liaison from Drag Race. It's something she does often. It's, it's mostly like the heavy contours, the heavy highlights, the like clownish paint. Like Jackie B is a great drag queen who's very known for her like cut creases. But you're seeing a lot of, like you said on YouTube, you're seeing all these regular girls that love makeup and now they're like looking like drag queens slowly more and more. So that's like, I want to be like Kim Kardashian. It's just funny to see what kind of like insane hell drag has created for the makeup community. <laughs> there's definitely for drag to, drag and makeup, it's, there's been a big combo now. Like there's, there's brands like Sugar Pill Cosmetics who brand mostly to drag queens. So they have this great, um, this great, you know, for the everyday girl or the girl that wants to be very artisty um, and bright colors, but they also like specifically have branding for drag queens because we spend a lot of money. <laughs> Does um, Drag Race portray an accurate version of drag? Um, it's reality TV, so everything's gonna be insane. Do I really think that all Italian people on Jersey Shore are like that? No, there's the goods and the bads of it, but, but media and putting it out, it's the great thing of it is that now it is, it's so easily accessible. People are learning what drag is, it's becoming less taboo. Stroll down the runway, another painting, cover of magazines. And when they see me, they wanna be me. I am a fantasy. The NoHo Pride organization does a lot of work organizing local drag performances. Show your support to these many performances by following and catching up with the next drag performance on the NoHo Pride Facebook. I'm Odette Venison. I'll see you next time.